Oh boy! <laughs> Very cool! <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done yeah, in my life. Cool, eh? Hi there, Will here. And today, I'm going to be doing something that I've alluded to before. Something ludicrously obscene. I'm going to be paragliding with my Mamiya 7. But uh, first I need to get through a roll of HP5 that's left in it, because I want to do it with colour. So I'm on Signal Hill before my paragliding time to quickly chuck a roll of film through the Mamiya 7. Focus to infinity. 500 f11 in the highlights. I'll do 250 f11 and split it. The main goal of using this Mamiya 7 today, well, this morning that is, with the film in it, is to check that it doesn't have the advanced lever issue, because the worst thing in the world would be to uh, be up there paragliding, and suddenly the Mamiya 7 decides that it's uh, not in the mood to function. That's a nice little aloe vera. Aloe vera and lion's head. You probably can't see the town right now, it's quite like a hazy morning. There you go. I wish I could photograph that, but it'll render really badly, I reckon. Anyway, we're gonna head there, at Signal Hill. And that's where we paraglide from, and that's where I'm gonna go make the remainder of my uh, HP5 shots. If you're curious about what sort of precautions I took, over the last four years, because I've been wanting to do this for that long, I've looked into a bunch of uh, information on forums regarding paragliding with one's own camera. They largely say don't do it, but uh, I ignore that, and looked into the videos available online of people paragliding off of uh, Signal Hill specifically, and just observed sort of the way that the harness interacted with people's bodies to get an idea of what might happen if I had a camera on my chest. And I was satisfied that things could be worked around in order to make it safe. And uh, then I decided that I needed two points of contact between me and the camera at all times. So I picked up this tool lanyard, which uh, attaches to the camera on this side and loops through itself like that and is just basically attached by whatever sort of weird knot loop thing that is and uh, clipped onto the harness itself with a carabiner. Not uh, this one though, because this one is a piece of junk. Uh, I picked up a two ton rated climbing carabiner, which I used to loop through this and then attach to the, uh, the paragliding harness. And it worked perfectly, because the camera is still alive. No scratches or anything. I also gaffer taped a bunch of the areas on the camera that I figured might be at risk of getting scratched, and uh, those were my precautions. I would not recommend doing this yourself, because every time you go paragliding, there is a chance of something going wrong in takeoff or landing, and you falling on your face, or getting dragged along by the kite, and all that sort of thing. And if that had happened, it would not have been good for the Mamiya 7, but it didn't, and uh, I've got some lovely paragliding pictures for it. So a fast walk and then a full run? Yeah, too good. Okay, launching. Let's go. Very skew, very skew. Slowly, slowly. Okay, let's go, boys. Go. Thank you, lads. Oh, boy. We're flying. Right. Can I put my arm through the... You make yourself comfy. Oh, boy. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done yeah, in my life. Cool, eh? I suppose now's a good time to mention that this camera is actually worth 100,000 Rand. Okay, probably you should have told me that didn't. <laughs> 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 it's just, no, it's just, it's hype really. It's not its actual value in the sense of it no. being worth that much. It's just because they're not made anymore, so people are willing to pay that much for them. I got mine long before they started costing that much. Oh, how's Holy! That's amazing. Yeah, isn't it cool? Lovely. Oh, we're quite high, aren't we? No, oh, no, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> very good, actually. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. How are you feeling? Right. I'm all good. good. Here's a good shot of Lion's Head if you want one. Uh, I might wait to get a... Actually, this is brilliant, yeah. Huh. How are you feeling? Good. I'm all good. I'm 
Fantastic. How many shots do I have left? Hmm. Four. Yeah. I should probably swing this little thing around. Yeah, go for it. Can't believe I'm actually doing this. Four years in the making. I just need to try and get shots that I couldn't get unless I was <laughs> in the sky on a paraglider. <laughs> That's looking quite promising too. Mm. No, it's okay, I got it. Fantastic. These buildings below you were done in the Second World War down there on your right below you. Right. You'll check the trenches in there. Um, that was done to spot the, the boats coming on into the harbour here. Yeah, so it's like there. military bunker stuff? Yeah, quite right. Sweet! I've got yeah. two pictures left. What are my final two pictures going to be? Hmm. Are you feeling good? I'm good. Okay. Goodness gracious. You'll notice that I'm, I've been quite specific on the flight path trying to um, maximize our flight. Now, pass me that camera then. I'll take it out of your hand. Sweet. Very nice. How cool is this, eh? Truly amazing. Isn't it amazing? What a lucky thing to do. Ha <laughs> Nah, I'm out of photos, so... I don't know about tricks. How, what's the risk of the camera getting... <gasps> okay, I like gentle. Gentle's good! <laughs> ah, that's not very gentle! Cool, dude. Yes, very cool. <laughs> Cheers. I'm definitely going to come do this again, and next time I'll just shoot the whole roll as we start going over town because this is an awesome viewpoint as well. Yeah, it is, eh? Landing is super easy. Yes. I'm just going to ask you to stand up on your feet as we get closer. Okay. Um, we're going to go quite quick, don't get a fright. This is normal. Yeah. So here goes quick. Yeah. I'll stop us before we actually, sit, and then you can just step onto the ground for me. Okay, and step onto the ground. Ooh! How <laughs> was that? That was amazing. He's so good. Fantastic. Let's give me your um, your YouTube stuff. Now. Yeah, for sure. I'll go like and share and subscribe. And <laughs> it's all right. Stuff. I don't. Uh, you don't do that. I don't ask anyone to do that now. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. That so was much. so good. <laughs> oh. Did you want to say something to the camera? I did. I didn't know you were here. Oh shit! The whole time I'm standing here. I it's didn't scary. realize. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. This I'm is my running, mate Aubrey. I'm running. He's just like filming us. <laughs> no. And then he said he doesn't. <laughs> this is my mate Aubrey. He's oh, a. Nice to meet you. I wasn't too sure. Sorry. He's also <laughs> a very. I might have been a little more friendly. He's a very, very good photographer. Yeah. We, 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 I, I we, thought we, he was just like ignoring, just like um, no. for the sake of camera, you know, like trying to yeah, get. No, it is very natural. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very natural. No, very natural. I didn't like, see you. I hope you enjoyed that. It was extremely fun to make and somewhat terrifying. But uh, if you'd like to see me paraglide with another camera, I can organize that. And I've got some other things lined up that are somewhat exciting. So keep an eye out. Again, like and share and subscribe.